Welcome to Kokak. We're going to do three graphs. Um, we've got a little tiny Lichtenbergia seedling from some of my own plants, some seeds I collected last or this last spring and germinated. So we're going to put that onto this little or onto this open pollinated Brasidiae. <clears throat> then we got, um, these are Huarazensis X Scopulicola from Mies Plant. So we're going to cut this in half. We're going to put top on one tip and the bottom on the other tip. And then it's the same story over here. Here's another one. And... We're going to put the top on there and the bottom on there. <clears throat> so first we're going to go through and top everything, get all of our stalks ready to go. I already got the pantyhose pre-cut. I'll just kind of hang those somewhere out of the way for a minute. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bev bevel them all.
Everything's pre-beveled. Everything's ready to go. So now we'll start with this one and work the other way. Okay, I want to brush off some of this dirt. I just pulled these up. Okay. Now these bottom ones are kind of tricky, <clears throat> but the pantyhose doesn't damage it too much. You just got to get it right over it. And the first one, I don't really put that much pressure. The first one's just there to kind of stabilize it. And then the second one, <clears throat> I only apply a slightly, slightly more, but not too much. And I keep it a little wider. And there you go. First one. I'm trying to get the rings to do that, more or less. That is perfect. Some people's put it right in the center and it still works. Definitely, I try to touch it to that ring somewhere. And the, the more places you get it attached, as you get it attached on that ring, the better chance of it taking and growing into a successful graft. And you really want to try to make sure it's really hard to do and I still mess up and if you have to if you have to pull everything off and try again you can unless you damage the bottom too much you should be able to still like pull it back off and give it another go it's not unless it goes like flying across the room in which case yeah I don't know can't help you there but you want to try to apply even pressure on both sides as you go down and you like hook it on the first set of spines and then hook it on the second set of spines and then get it all the way down here right? and then you can just kind of anchor it and you're good to go same thing the bottom half is a little weirder 
so I don't put as much pressure on it because it's got that weird kind of more cone shape to it. It's better to be more light handed with these bottom halves. I'm not usually very good at getting the bottom half to work either, so when I do the update videos on these, we'll see how they went. And it is it's not the season, really. It's still warm in my greenhouse, but there's not much light during the day. So if anything, they might just heal and kind of stall out, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay, last one. The Lichtenbergie is kind of weird, but the pantyhose kind of help compensate for the strange shape as long as you can kind of maneuver around the ribs. Okay. And this one I'm not going to use the bottom. See, and with this there's more or less like those two dots, like an equal sign. So you, I just try to place both of those on the ring somewhere. So you know, get both dots like on the ring. Okay. <clears throat> kind of make it into a V, try to set it like in between those ribs. This is going to be one that's really annoying. Also these spines, Persigii don't have very good anchoring spines. Got the first one on there. And I just think it's always a good idea to put two. Like, if one breaks or if one snaps off, maybe you'll be able to catch it in time before the second one goes to. And I'm being really light with this one. I'm not giving you a lot of pressure on it. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make this work. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. So we'll uh, leave those, leave the pantyhose on for about five days, almost a week, and I'll come check them, kind of poke them, see what I think, and then I'll do a video where I pull off the bandages and we'll see if they stick or not. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy cactus and keep it real.